Hey guys, Jim here from Jim's Tech. Today's a follow-up video on the NVIDIA Shield. I've just plugged in that Samsung USB drive that I had bought and I'm going to turn it into adaptable storage. So what you're going to need to do is go to settings. From settings we're going to go to storage and reset. We're going to find where it says Samsung, click on that one and erase and format as device storage. So we'll go ahead and click that. This requires a USB drive to be formatted to make it secure. After securely formatting this drive, this drive will only work with this device. Formatting erases all data currently stored on the drive, blah, 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 blah. And we'll go ahead. So it says Shield needs to move some data to the Samsung USB drive. Uh, let's go ahead and click move, hopefully not too much longer. And done. So as you can see under device storage, it's got the 11 gigs internal storage and then the Samsung USB at 118, meaning that now it can use both drives to store stuff. Now regarding this, this setup, the Nvidia Shield cost me 200 US. The Samsung drive, I think I paid just over 50 bucks US, so it's $250. Um, unless you've got a USB stick lying around, if you're planning on doing adaptable storage and you're planning on plugging in a, a 128 gigabyte drive in there to make it larger, I'd probably say consider looking at the Nvidia Shield Pro because at that point, like I said, this one, this thing here has now cost me 250 bucks. For $300, you, I would have gotten everything I've got now and it would have had a 500 gig internal drive. Just something to keep in mind. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give a thumbs up. Also, feel free to subscribe as I will be posting more videos in the future. Thank you.